This is my first speech in a Tommy Bahama shirt. <laughs> we made history. Why should we come to the aid of the Republican Party? You know, we're a party. A political party is not a social club, folks. It's an organization that has a core set of values and principles, a philosophy on how this nation should be governed. Republicans believe in limited government, individual freedom and responsibility, and all the merits that come with it, free market capitalism. Democrats believe in big government. They believe government can answer all of our problems. Government should take control of various aspects of our life. That's the difference. The Republican Party is a philosophy that binds us together, and we elect individuals from our party to govern in that manner. The Republican Party has a core set of values, and when you abandon those values, those principles, then why should we support the party? Why should we? And after our primary, the Republican State Committee, the State Committee, there are two representatives from every county, a man and a woman, so there were 42 members of the state committee. They gathered in a, in a meeting a week or so after the primary to reestablish what the Republican Party would stand for. And our two leaders that we elected from our group, Rob Eichmann and Donna Ward, stood up at the meeting and they made a motion, a simple motion to adopt the national Republican platform as the platform of the New Jersey Republican Party. Every state does this. This is the platform that was determined and decided in the convention, the national convention, just last year, the presidential convention, which the delegates from every, there was a platform committee made up of representatives, Assemblyman Allison McCose from New Jersey was one of the New Jersey delegates to the platform committee. And that platform committee decides, hey, the Republican Party is gonna be the party that stands up for life, for the sanctity of marriage, for individual liberty, for low taxes, for national defense, for our army, for our navy, for a strong America. The Republican Party, a little more detailed than that. But that platform was adopted at the convention. And it goes out to all the states. And the states adopt the platform. So at that meeting only a couple of weeks ago, Rob Eichmann, our state committee man, rose to make a resolution. He said, I'd like to pass a resolution that the Republican the Party of New Jersey adopt the national Republican platform. Our common philosophies. The base from which our pinnacle rises. And he was told no. He was told that, no, um, we have these bylaws. You see, they hadn't adopted any bylaws. And Rob and Donald were told, no, no, we, you, you can't do that because you have to give us 15 days notice if you're going to pass it. So the next time we meet, you tell, and who knows when that's going to be, maybe December, maybe next year. So that resolution was never adopted. New Jersey's Republican Party is the only state party in America that has not adopted the National Republican. Republican Party has no philosophy. And then it got even worse. Just when you thought it was bad enough, we saw what happened and it went up to the House of Representatives, right? When New Jersey's Republican delegation led the way in America, delivering three of the eight votes that would put the cap and trade bill over the top. Yeah. The largest tax hike in American history, make, make, make no doubt about it. The cap and trade bill is designed to drive business out of this country. This is the UN wet dream, right? And this is the United Nations, what they fantasize about, driving America's prosperity overseas, driving our manufacturing facilities, our shipping facilities, to everywhere from India to Russia, you name it. To dis redistribute America's wealth, crushing our prosperity, raising our taxes. Eight Republicans across America delivered the deciding votes. Only one state had three. Only one state had more than one, New Jersey. Three of our Republican congressmen, allegedly Republican congressmen, Leonard Lance, Chris Smith, and Frank Loviano led the way in passing this all-out destructive bill. They're not Republicans, folks. We're Republicans. They don't represent us. They represent the destruction of Americans, America's prosperity. We should send them a change of party for them. <laughs> Folks, email is the musket of today's revolution. Yeah. It's how we communicate with you. If you want to be linked in, there's a gentleman over there 
You can't afford not to have these If you want to know instantly what's happening, be able to respond quickly, email is essential. It's inexpensive, and um, and if it's somebody has an extra computer to lend to someone else, to be part, it's like lending them your musket. Barack Obama up there. Barack Obama is a socialist. And I will say this, Barack Obama is a socialist. He's advancing a socialist agenda. We have a real challenge ahead. A real challenge ahead. Any government that can control the light bulbs in your house, your toilet bowl, the fat in your food, uh, your medical procedures, and cap and, and actually tax CO2, the air that you breathe, is capable of doing anything at all, folks. That's not what America is about. So again, join you. Thank you again for all of your hard work in the months. We're not finished and we're not giving up. Thank you. God bless you.